What's cooking, Juventus fans? Welcome back to your old lady's favorite YouTube channel. And it's time to ask the most difficult question of my Bianconeri Zone career. Is it time to let the Zanyol holes die? Stick with us. We'll fill you in. Ciao, ragazzi. Welcome back to the Bianca Days. My name is Justin Sofro. Today, it's Sunday, July 17th, 2022. And of course, I got your latest rundown of all things Juventus. This is the rundown, your latest news. You know what I do here. I go through all the news as quickly as possible, get you in and out and about your day. If you haven't already, do me a favor. Smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon to stay notified for all of our latest videos. Now, real quick, before I do anything, I've been doing this lately. You guys can read. I'm not going to go through the whole spiel. I'm just letting you guys know we are doing a giveaway on the channel. If you don't know, we're doing a giveaway. We're giving away a Paul Pogba shirt. Subscribe to the channel. Go on Twitter. Retweet. Tag a friend. That's all you got to do. There it is. August 1st. We're doing it. <laughs> you want to win a shirt? Subscribe to the channel. Have your friends subscribe to the channel. Follow the Twitter account. Tweet, retweet, all that good stuff. There we go. All right, let's get into it. What news do we have for you today? Very first up we got to talk about is Alvaro Minata. What's going on with him? Tudo Sport reporting, and he's not even a Juve player. I don't know why I'm asking him, acting like he's just down the hallway from us. Simeone has already made it clear to the club that he does not intend to bet on Marata. Given that offers for the player have not been received to date for Alvaro Marata, the hypothesis remains alive that Juve could take him on loan once again with an obligation to buy. Um, like I said, I'm not going to do a lot of commentary today's video. Just trying to get you in and out and about your day. This one, I think, it just makes sense. Keep it. Wait till the end of the season or the end of the Mercado season, if you will. See if anything else comes up. Probably won't. But then you have favorable situation to sign Marata and continue on. All right. Continuing on for us, we're going to talk about Moise Ken, the man who's in peak physical fitness. And, of course, what does that mean to people? People care a lot about <laughs> physical fitness when it comes to, obviously, professional athletes. We love to cross, crush Weston McKinney because Weston McKinney's out of shape. He's got a little bit of a pooch there. But yet, Weston McKinney's the one who's always out there killing it. I don't need to rant today. Just saying what I'm saying. Moise Ken may be in great shape. Great. But what does it mean to Juve? Well, Corey Dale Sporter reporting saying that Moise Ken's future continues to hang in the balance. The club have already tried to offer him to Roma with a negotiation for Zaniolo and Atletico for Marata, but received a no thank you from both sides. So Juve don't really want him and nobody else does. The one track that remains possible is the PSG track, which could bring Panetis to Turin. You know my feelings on Pedades, not a great option, but if they can get him while they also put like three or four guys out, then I'm good to go. All right, let's continue on, and let's get into, obviously, a heated debate, a heated topic. Uh, if you watched my hot take video that I did yesterday, you know I have feelings on this, and I'm going to say right now, we're getting back into the Bremer topic. It is a topic, I believe we're all kind of on the same page right now. It appears Bremer is kind of a non-story for Juventus. But people keep making it a story. What I'm saying is the think pieces, the journalists, the news article writers, they are all putting out pieces linking Juve to Bremer. What is, what is the situation there? Our guy Nico Skira says nothing. There's nothing to even look at. Nico Skira says they are not a part of this. And I believe what Nico Skira says. If there's anything I can tell you right now, Romeo Gresti has said something to the opposite effect, but... <laughs> Let's be honest, this Mercado, he's kind of fallen off. And if there's one guy you can kind of rely on this Mercado, it's Nico Schietta. And he seems to be correct when it came to Molina and when it came to Bremer. I'll be honest, this is the one time I would like to see my guy Nico Schietta be incorrect, but I don't think he is. And I would love to see Romeo Gresti come back with a vengeance with this Bremer news, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, let's get into it, though. First part of it is Fabrizio Romano reporting on what's going on with Bremer. Says that Inter will push to sign Gleason Bremer on Monday as there will be direct meetings with Torino and his agents. Personal terms are agreed since January. There's an important negotiation and I'm pushing to get it done as soon as possible, Inter manager Inzaghi says. So basically laying it out all, all on the table, just letting you know. Bremer's our number, or not number one, but one of our very top priorities. We signed Lukaku. We did the other deals. Now we're trying to get this guy and lock him up. All right, we move on, and we have Cordell Sport, who's putting out a report saying that Juve will try to go all in for Bremer. They're saying they're going to go all in, yet Nico Skia says it's not even really, they're not even really pushing at all. 
So who's wrong and who's right here? Corey Dell Sport? Mm. <clears throat> but Inter still have an advantage with the agreement with the Granada defender. Tomorrow, Marata, who is waiting for the okay from Zhang Jr., will meet with Torino to beat the competition from the Bianconeri Nero Club. Lewandowski to Barca will free to, to Bayern. So just throwing that little end piece on there, I guess, just because we, we know, obviously. We know what's going on. I, I, I got nothing for this. I, I don't know what you want me to say. They're, they're, they, they, keep, they keep pushing it. They keep pushing the topic. They keep pushing Juve and Bremer. And, like... Well, I'm, I'm, this is a mean girl's quote. We just, just stop trying to make fetch happen, okay? It's not going to happen. I want it to happen. It's not going to happen. And then the final part of this is La Stampa, who's reporting this, saying that Inter want to close the deal for Bremer in the next 48 hours. But Juventus are ready to pay more than 40 million euros and could make their move also. I just, I'm going to throw my hands up at this point. I don't know. I don't know. I'll be honest. My guy, Nico Skida. He's the one guy who is standing staunchly holding his ground, saying there is nothing to the Bremer rumors. There is nothing to it. Juve are not in for Bremer. But everybody else is just screaming at you with a megaphone saying that they are. And I hope, I would love for my hot take to be wrong. I would love for my hot take to say that they are, when I say mismanaging the situation, but saying that they're not going for it and pushing for the key pieces that they should be going for. I would love to be wrong and to see them swipe in there, steal a great player out from Inter, take it from Torino, and get going about this thing. Then we can move on and look toward the future. I don't think it's happening. I, I'm not buying into it. We'll see. All right. Let's continue on. Another option, another move for a center back that could be coming to Juventus could come from the Delict deal. Reports Marcello Cherico, who says, and this one's going to be a little bit of a surprise one. We'll see what happens. Juventus is actually interested in Lucas Hernandez, which, of course, is Theo, is Theo Hernandez's brother, a Milanista, who is a central defender at FC Bayern. If no agreement was found on the figure for Delict, it would be proposed to include Hernandez in the deal, plus 40 million euros or so as an adjustment for Juve. I think also there's a little note there saying something along the lines of it's yet to be seen if they'd be willing to uh, part with him. What the deal? Would he be in, uh, willing to go? We'll see. Take the source for what it's worth. We've used him a couple times here on the channel. That's all I'm going to say take it for what it's worth but it's something to keep an eye on if for some reason that becomes another option just because right now if you're Juventus and you're going to end up sending Matthias to like to Bayern you've got to find a replacement somewhere and all the other options are falling off so nothing would really surprise me at this point uh, what do you guys think about uh, Lucas Hernandez let me know in the comment section down below all right, and but let's stay a little bit on this whole situation that's going on, and let's talk about Matthias Delict. What's going on with him? Well, Gazette Del Sport reporting saying that Delict has not ruled out the possibility of staying in Turin, which until a few days ago seemed anything but possible. Juve are thinking of offering him an extension with the clause lowered to 90 million euros at 12 million per season. Obviously, getting him a nice little raise. I don't know about those figures. Let's be clear, Gazetta, Do I believe you when it comes to those figures? We'll see. Um, I still feel like the 90 million euro clause is still fairly high. But I think if we've seen anything in the recent days when it comes to these clauses, what they really mean and what they don't mean, um, he's going to leave. He's going to want to leave, right? He's going to leave. Um, I also realize when you talk about, you know, negotiations potentially with like a Paul Torres or other guys like that, they may have like a 60 million euro clause. Guys, they aren't really paying that because they know they're going to move it um, and they'll try to come to, with some kind of an agreement because they want to go ahead and get the deal done. Otherwise, they can hold out and wait for, uh, and leave for a free in another year or two. Um, so I think right now, when you lower it to a 90 million euros, that's probably when you're coming down to an idea of accepting a 60, 65, 70-ish maybe million euro the next year. Really next Mercado. So something to keep an eye on. We'll see if that ends up coming to fruition. Um... Quick little news story. I know Giovanni got <laughs> Albanese hasn't been the most reliable this season, but my boy, I trust him on this one. He says that Federico Gatti, Freddy Katz, will wear the number 15 shirt. So there you go. If you were waiting, if you were on bated breath for your Gatti shirt, you can now go buy your Gatti shirt, number 15. It may not be on the site, but it's number 15. Go type it in. You may have to be one of those players. All right. And then the last bit of news. 
<sighs> this one's gonna be rough. <clears throat> I gotta get through this, guys. I gotta get. It's not dead yet. It's not dead. But it's not great, right? It's not great. Whew. I know some of you guys may be celebrating this new story. I'm, I'm going to push through it. Okay. First off, we're talking about Juve and Roma. They're at a stalemate when it comes to the future of Zaniolo. Giovanni Albanese reports, <clears throat> reflections within Juventus, at least from the moment, lead to reasoning about Zaniolo only in the context of an exchange. Roma. In case of sale, wants to monetize instead. The ways of Couch and Mercado are endless. But for now, the positions of the club remain distant. Juve want to include, include a player. Roma wants straight cash, homie. I mean, it's, it's, clear, it's clear as day. I think Juve think that they have the upper hand because they have the desire of Zaniolo. They think for some reason uh, that even if Zaniolo goes back and stays with the club another season... He'll come back next year for cheaper or whenever his uh, contract runs out for free. So I get that they want to include a player. They also know maybe they're interested in a player like Artur, but they don't really want to include that in the deal. Roma want to make that money, and I can't blame them for it. I think a lot of people come on the channel thinking that I think Juve should be able to get straight cash for Delict and then say they should include a player with this. I understand wanting to try to do it. I understand not Wanting to agree with it if you're Roma. It makes sense. I also understand the criticisms of wanting to get a player like Zaniolo. I understand it. Um, I also think, though, that the money's going down. And let's talk about, let's continue moving on to the second part of this. Which CouchyMercado.com saying, to get Zaniolo from Roma, close to 40 to 45 million euros are needed. The number has dropped in the week, the last weeks compared to the initial request of the Yellow Rossi, 60 to 70 million euro request. The formula could be a permanent one or a loan with an obligation to buy, to which Juve could also add a percentage on a future sale to convince the Euro Rossi to let him go. The Bianconeri are monitoring the situation after some advantages, uh, advances made in the last weeks for the player. I think the 40... I'll be honest. I know I've said this. I know a lot of people still don't want to pay 40, 45 million euros. But here's the thing. You're not paying 40 to 45 million euros right now. You're paying 10. You're paying 10 million euros in this Mercado. To me, I think that's fine. I'm okay with it. I don't understand. I mean, I, I understand the issue. I understand wanting to try to save as much money as possible. I understand wanting to hold this off just to see if they will open up to the idea of a player. Yeah, it makes sense. Do I think it's truly dead? I'll be honest. Again, maybe I'm just Zen your whole guy. But I still feel like it's not dead. I know a lot of people are reading a lot into it, thinking that it's going to be done and nothing's going to happen, and then we could just put this in the put this to bed until next season. I'm not sure that I believe that just yet. If not, I'll do another hot take video. Fine. <laughs> but I but right now I feel like it's just you very kind of. This is another situation that they can they can sit and wait for a bit. But. What will Zaniolo think of this? Will he come to an agreement with Roma to end up staying there? Or would he think differently? Would he maybe be frustrated and say, I don't want to go to Juve now? We'll see. All right. And then the last bit of this is Corey Del Sport, who is reporting saying that Juve remain interested in Zaniolo, but have not been able to please the high demands of Roma. It is not ruled out with the players or that the player will stay at Roma, perhaps with a new agreement that will bring his salary up to 4 million euros. We'll see. We've heard rumors that there's been talks between, obviously, him and the leadership management there at Roma that maybe they want to give an agreement. I think today, I think, didn't he, I believe, yet or yesterday, he scored and scored a goal. So for all you people thinking he can't score goals, he scores goals now, boy. He scores damn goals. Uh, but anyway, he scored a goal. And I think he also, for some reason, was wearing the captain's armband. I don't know. These are reports. I didn't watch it. <laughs> Let's be clear. I had things going on. But anyway, that's just what I'm saying. We'll see what happens when it comes to Zaniolo. I'm just having fun with a lot of you. Uh, we'll see how long this takes to develop, if anything develops, or if this is just, let's put it to bed. Let's focus on other areas of the Mercado. Because right now, let's, let's be honest, it feels like Juventus are in a lull when it comes to this Mercado. They're in a pretty big lull. It feels like they're napping. And it feels like nothing's going to happen. We, I, last week, I said it was going to be a big week. It was a nothing burger. So you know what I'm telling you this week? I'm doing this right now. Nothing will happen this week in the Mercado. There will be nothing going on, nothing to keep an eye on, and nothing to get excited about. 
That's where I'm leaving it. All right, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below about all the topics we talked about today. Let me know if your opinions on anything, Bremer. Do you think that actually is something there? Or do you think, do you kind of agree with us where it's just like, it's a nothing burger? Let it die. I'll just stop talking about it, Justin. Stop getting on here and ranting about Bremer. He, he, he ain't going to make Bre Bremer happen. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure you please smash that like button. Hitting the like button really does help our channel. It helps it grow, algorithm, all that stuff. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon to stay notified. For all of our latest videos, follow me at Justin Sofro on Twitter. And you can, of course, follow Bianca Neri Zone at Bianca Neri Zone. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Forza, Juve. Forza, Bianca Neri.